What's up, everybody? It's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today, we're going to look at the Torax L Track single stud tie down points. These are going to be great for mounting them on your trailer and getting those points that you wouldn't necessarily have a good tie down. You can see this one kind of has a wall, so you wouldn't be able to run the strap through here around this top bar like you could on the front. So, it really limits you on your options to tie things down, like this generator here in the middle. You wouldn't want to attach here because this isn't strong enough. It's going to pull this off the fender is what I'm talking about. And you can't hook it on here because there's no angles. It might stay here, but probably not. That's not a good safe thing. You'd want to wrap it around or put the strap around itself. This allows you to add this attachment. This is an anchor point and a good tie down. You have this big loop to tie things down to, and it's going to help you keep your load secure. So I'm going to remove the anchor point. This is sold separately. And you're going to need this to slide in here to actually tie things down. But today we're mainly going to talk about the single stud here. The thing that's nice about this is it's very versatile. So you can kind of put it in different places and you don't have to worry about taking up a bunch of space like a track would. Like you could buy smaller pieces of track, but it would take up this much and you don't necessarily need that or want that. These can fit in places that those tracks can't and don't add on to your trailer. So this one's right here, it takes up very little space. It's low profile. It's not gonna get in your way, but it's gonna be there when you need to tie stuff down. It's also made out of aluminum, so you don't have to worry about the elements causing the issues. It's not gonna rust or corrode on you once you've permanently mounted it to your trailer or wherever you put it. You can put it inside too and it won't be a problem, but out here, it's also not a problem. Now it might get scratched up as you use the attachment. We saw a little bit of that as we slid the anchor point in. There's a few scratches in there when we use that, but that's also one of those things you're probably gonna slide it once and leave it in place. I can't imagine you taking it out too often and like because you're just gonna lose them. I'd rather leave them in place where they are right there. Now I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the way the studs work. I like the track better. I'd rather have that strip of track here and then the track I see, I think works a lot easier to put things in there and take them out. This one, sometimes it slides in just fine. Sometimes it fights you a little bit and that's the same on all four of these. And it's not a big fan. I'd rather just put the track on there, the one that's not tapered that'll fit here on the rail or on the side of the rail. And it's out of the way anyway, so it's not gonna be a problem. And you can easily put more of those attachments in there for different options to tie stuff down. That being said though, I think it is a good option for somebody that doesn't necessarily want a bunch of tie down points. You want pinpoint tie down points. So that's this one here, there, there, there. It's taken care of, it takes up very little space on your trailer. So it is a good option for that. That's pretty easy to install. Let's check out how we did it. First thing you want to do before you get installed is figure out where you want to put the single studs at. Zach owns this trailer and he told us that these are the only points here where it's hard to get tied on points because he doesn't want to strap anything down to the fender. It's not strong enough. These points he would like to use, but he can't get the strap in there, their hook. It's not going to hook and stay there. So we decided this is where we're going to put each one of our studs. So setting it here in the middle of the rail, make sure there's no overhang on it. I'm going to mark the holes. With our quarter inch drill bit and drill, we're going to start drilling the first hole. Now, with our holes drilled, went ahead and dropped our bolts in there and add our nuts underneath, and that's what's going to hold it in place. The hardware is not included, so you have to find some of your own. And you want to make sure that it sits in there nice and flat because any portion of the screw that sits up or the bolt that sits up can catch this and won't let you use accessories. So a good way to test it is we're gonna use our anchor point. It slides right in, snaps in nicely. So we can push it in there really easily, pull it out really easily and go right through really easily. So that means you installed it right. So you saw the install wasn't that bad. You just need to drill some holes wherever you want to install them. In this case, we added some way better anchor tie down points to the trailer that weren't available before. So they'll be way easier to tie down that heavier equipment on the trailer. Well, thanks for hanging out and I hope this helped.